Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to bind or to set up your controls to do this. So, it might be hard to see exactly what's happening here. Alright, so on my left I got a, a stick right and you can see the readout uh, in the lower right hand corner. So the um, that just shows exactly what my physical stick is doing. You can ignore the straight forward back, straight left right thing because those are from before that I had this set up before I had this set up. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to move my stick forward and you can see left of my crosshair in the middle my throttle increasing. And in the neutral position it starts at zero and then it goes all the way to a hundred just like a normal throttle except uh, obviously if I, since it's a kind of a dual joystick, if I let go it just goes to zero. So that's how it's different from a normal uh, traditional throttle on a HOTUS. If I strafe back, or sorry, if I move the stick backwards, it puts me into backwards strafe. And it's analog, so I can increment it however I want. There's 10% backwards, corresponds to about minus 25 meters per second, which is about right. I can go as slow backwards as I want. I go straight back to forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. It's seamless. I don't have to press a button or a hotkey or anything like that. Um, and it works and it's actually remarkably unbuggy. Um, I didn't really have to adjust as much as I thought I would. I thought I'd have to add a dead zone or something to keep the controls from interfering from, with each other, but nope. Uh, it just works. So, and then, you know, it's dual stick, so obviously enjoy the benefits of I can go a little bit forward and a little bit sideways and so on and so forth. And that's really cool, you know, and I can do my uh, spirals and all that. So, uh, this is actually pretty easy to do, um, and it's a lot easier if you happen to have a, on any device, if you happen to have a spare slider or a rotary knob or some kind of analog axis that you can set and not have to hold down and it'll just stay there. So like a slider or a rotary knob or something like that. If you don't, you're going to have to use another program and... Uh, basically make a virtual input of just a hundred percent uh, deflection of, a, of an analog axis. So I'll show you what I did. All right, had to re-record this part because I ran out of disk space. So if it's a little whatever, that's why. Okay, so back to the main page. All right, so this is Universal Joystick Remapper. I'll put a download link in and uh, it's a program uh, made by someone, I can't remember the name, I'm sorry, uh, but very nice program, thank you for making it, and, you know, I'll put the link in the description, so I did not make this. Alright, so, I'm not an expert on using this, but this is basically what I did, and, it, you know, I basically just downloaded it last night, and I fiddled with it until it worked. Alright, so, I opened the program, I hit Auto Configure Stick ID, and it did something, I don't know what, but, uh, okay. And before, sorry, before I go farther, this won't work unless you have VJoy installed, um, which is a pretty simple program that, uh, basically it'll just create a virtual joystick on your machine. That's really all it does. And you, this is how you customize what's on it, but the default settings work just fine. I'll include a link to VJoy as well. So you're gonna need those two programs VJoy and Universal Joystick Remapper, and uh, you need one of two things. You either need a um, a slider or a rotary dial or some kind of analog axis that is free and that you don't need, or you're going to need free P, and I'll explain that in a, in a little bit. Okay, so you got your joystick on the left side, right, and you you want it to do two different things. You want it to basically work as a throttle when you push it forward and work as reverse strafe when you pull it back. So to get the game to let you do that, you need to basically make it think that the forward direction is one axis binding and the backward direction is a different axis binding. So that's exactly what this does with the split low and split high thing. Now, it's going to seem backwards because for whatever reason, the game defaults to thinking that um, the basically pushing forward on your stick is uh, low and pushing backward on your or pulling backward on your stick is high so this top one here 
that I'm actually using the uh, split low that's actually the throttle because you know that's actually pushing forward on the stick all right so split low um, you can probably just put these settings in and see what it does and then troubleshoot from there but split low physical stick ID 4 so that's whatever your stick is and to make to see if you got the right one all you gotta hang on let me switch back to the game for just a second so I don't crash into something while I'm doing this all right so I'm like okay I don't know which one it is so I you know okay that's not it right and like okay okay cool I found it that's the one alright sweet so that's that's it that's how you do that and then physical axis 2 is the Y axis so yeah you'll need to do the same trial and error and by the way this is um, joystick curves this is something that allows me to do the overlay I have in the lower right hand corner of the screen you do not need this but it does help because it lets you see what I'm doing with my left stick at any given time uh, cool so you don't you don't adjust this slider it just that's just to show you what's happening okay so now I'll push forward on the stick and you'll see this will increase from 0 to 100 which is perfect right because um, that's what throttle that's what we need our throttle to do right now this is where it gets a little weird is the reverse one so it's at 0 right now and I pull back and it goes to 100 percent the problem like that's working great the problem with that is that the game sees that as me starting at uh, 100% forward strafe and going back to 100% backward strafe all within the half of the joystick throw so basically like the backwards half of it so basically it took like the normal strafe longitudinal strafe axis and it condensed it to the backwards half of it but that's not what we want to do we want to cut it off right we want this to be at 50 and we want this to be at 100 basically okay because remember that you know it's uh, it's backwards so actually pulling you know 50 to 100 is actually not strafing at all and then strafing 100% backwards okay so uh, same settings there and then to make it so that it's not like trying to strafe forward when I'm at like minus 20 so like here for example I'm strafing a little bit backwards but this low number since it's below 50 would actually uh, it would actually give me forward strafe even though I'm like pulling the stick backwards so to fix that go to axis 2 these are things that like modify what you have on axis 1 okay so you only need one for the the backwards and then we set merge which basically averages the input physical stick ID 4 yeah it's well uh, this is going to depend on, so remember I said you needed a, a free uh, rotary dial or a free uh, slider or something. It needs to be an analog axis that you can set and it'll stay there even with your hand off of it. And that you don't need for anything else. Um, although you can kind of combine things if you're smart about it, but uh, that's, we don't have to worry about that. So from, in my case, my, since I use a T16000M on my left hand, it has it happens to have a uh, a slider right so this is the little throttle on the back that I can't use when I'm actually flying because it's completely out of position but it's gonna become useful here so <coughs> excuse me I set it for hundred percent which for me is it being at zero because once again everything is backwards for some reason um, so you just set it a hundred percent and that's pretty much it so what this is doing is it's gonna average this number with this number to get the value so now instead of this which would normally be um, which would normally <laughs> sorry instead of uh, right so I'm at zero right now so it would normally be zero uh, percent right which we said was a hundred percent straightforward but now since it averages with this it's at 50 which is what we want because 50 is neutral okay if I go all the way backwards now it's a hundred percent and it averages with a hundred percent and it's just full backwards so that makes sense and I checked a bunch of points here and it is a very it is linear when you do it this way and I'm like oh, I don't really understand the averaging but it works so that's that um, so let's say you don't have that uh, analog 
slider or dial or whatever, right? Okay, well that sucks. Um, so what you can still do this. You're just going to have to use FreeP and put in a very, very simple script that basically just says, hey, this virtual joystick axis, set it to 100% and leave it there. And that's what you're going to have to do. And you're going to have to run that every time you start Windows. Um, I've done stuff like that before. And I, if you are absolutely having trouble with it, I can help you. Um, but the program is called FreeP. I'll link that too, but you shouldn't need it if you have a free slider or rotary axis. Um, and cool. So once again, you need universal joystick remapper with the settings I've shown here or something like them. Um, you don't need this. You need your uh, VJoy, which I'll also link. And then you either need a free slider or rotary axis or, or a free slider or uh, dial, sorry, that's analog or a uh, or free P and a script. Okay. All right, so let's try it out here one more time and you can see I've got, if I, you know, move my stick forward, I got full throttle control. If I move my stick backward, it goes into backward strafe, which is cool. Um, and I can go all the way down to zero and then seamlessly transition to forward. I don't have to press a button or anything, so that's it. Okay. So now that I've showed you how to do this, I thought I might talk about the uh, mechanics of this because there was some confusion on the forums. And I like to point out, I'm, and you know, this pretty much goes for anything I say, but um, I am never like saying people don't know what they're doing or anything like that. I'm not trying to be insulting or anything. So, you know, get that out of your head because there's no way that any of this is intuitive. But, the real reason people have so much confusion over this is because CIG decided to call, let me get my cursor out, this thing right here a throttle. But it's not a throttle, it's an analog cruise control setting. That's all it is, okay? It's not a throttle. Uh, the throttle implies to people, I think, that you are somehow manually controlling your main engine or you are controlling your main engine more than you would be if you were, say, strafing. But truly, it doesn't matter if you're coupled, decoupled, whatever. If you're using, if you're using your uh, longitudinal strafe, you're using your main engine. Um, now, back like, I'm older versions of the game, I'm talking like a year ago or more, there were issues with ships not using their main engine when they should have been. Okay, but they have been corrected. The acceleration values prove that. Um, strafing forward, right, analog strafing forward, and you can watch my videos, is physically the same as, and in terms of like within the game, it's the same as putting forward throttle in. It's the same thing. The only difference is first, throttle is a uh, analog axis that exists in the game world that you can adjust with binary inputs. So there are buttons for throttle up and throttle down. You don't have that for strafe. Second, there's a visual indication uh, to the left of the gun cross there that doesn't exist for strafing. Okay, and third, throttle can't be used in decoupled mode um, because decoupled mode works a little bit differently. It uses uh, second order inputs instead of first order inputs, which means you're basically inputting an acceleration instead of a speed. But in coupled mode, like this is just cruise control on the left. You're not directly controlling your main engine. And yes, when you throttle forward, your main engine will fire to achieve that, but it works the exact same with longitudinal strafe. Okay. That is for certain, but if somehow your ship accelerates faster forward with uh, throttle than with longitudinal strafe, then bug report it because it's not supposed to be like that. Um, absolutely not. And they fixed it. The Super Hornet used to have this problem, but they fixed it like a year ago. So, okay. So maybe asking yourself, well, if it's the same thing, then why would I go through all this hassle of doing it? Uh, well, you know, I kind of just, some people really wanted this, so I, you know, if 
I was like, oh, well, it'd be cool to figure out how to do this. Um, it does have some benefits. First, you get a direct visual indication of what your forward uh, setting is. And since the HUD is unfinished and doesn't really give you good indications of what your commanded inputs are, um, that can be useful. So now, you know, I can say as like, all right, I'm like two thirds of the way forward uh, velocity input here. Whereas if I were just using, you know, longitudinal strafe and nothing else, I would just be doing it by feel. Basically, I have, you know, obviously the stick on my left hand wants to center. And so it presses up against my hand and I can kind of judge like where it is, but it's definitely not as accurate as seeing a number. Um, so that's an advantage. Another advantage that exists just for me is it helps with my videos because um, now people can see the throttle. And since a lot of people use the throttle, they can probably relate to it better. So if during some maneuvers I'm setting somewhere in mid range, now they can physically see it. Yes, they could have seen it on the lower right hand screen, but sometimes I, you know, sometimes that doesn't work. People don't look down there or whatever. Um, and also, uh, you know, people like to use throttle, so it's nice for them to see somebody using throttle and showing that it can still be used effectively. Although, you know, with me, it's with this different setup. Uh, so cool. And that's pretty much it. But for sure, for sure, throttle does not control the main engine any differently than forward analog strafe does. Okay, so just, you know, but if you still want to do this, I showed you how to do it. And there you go. Enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know.